Let's uh, start by connecting the resistors to the breadboard. I'm using 330 ohm resistor. One of the resistors will be connected to the positive rail of the breadboard. And the other one goes to the negative rail of the breadboard. So I have to connect the second resistor to ground. And now it's time to connect the LEDs. I'm using two LEDs, one blue and one red. And I'm gonna connect the anode of the blue LED to the common node between the resistors. Cathode will be connected to a blank spot on breadboard. For the red LED, I'm gonna connect the cathode to the common node of the resistors. and the anode to a blank spot on breadboard. Now let's connect our potentiometer to the breadboard, which has three pins. One of them has to be connected to the VIS of CC or to power. So let me see. The right pin goes to the power. And let's use another black jumper wire to connect the ground pin of the potentiometer, which is here, to ground. And the middle pin of the potentiometer, which is output, is going to be connected to the LEDs. I have connected the power supply to the breadboard. 9 volts coming in through the circuit and I have switched the positions of the potentiometer and the LEDs to get a better view on the camera and connected the resistor directly to the ground without using any jumper wires everything looks good now let's test the circuit so I'm gonna turn the potentiometer first time I'm gonna turn it clockwise and the second time anti-clockwise and for each rotation one of these LEDs either blue or red must turn on let's see so I'm gonna turn it clockwise as you can see the red LED starts to turn on but the blue LED remains off now I'm gonna do it anti-clockwise I'm gonna turn it to the left and let's see if the blue LED turns on. Takes a while, but I think it works. As you can see, the blue LED turns on and the red LED remains off. So here's how the circuit works. As I turn the potentiometer to the right, it means in clockwise direction, the resistance of the potentiometer increases, causing the voltage at the common node between two resistors to decrease. As the voltage decreases at the common node, it falls below the forward voltage drop of the blue LED, causing the blue LED to turn off, and at the same time, it reaches the forward voltage drop of the red LED, and that's why red LED turns on. Now on the other hand, when I turn the potentiometer in anti-clockwise direction, the red LED must turn off and the blue LED turns on since I'm surpassing the forward voltage drop of the blue LED, which is typically, which is typically between 2 to 3.3 volts. Perfect. At this point, the potentiometer's resistance decreases, causing the voltage at the common node between two resistors to rise. And as the voltage increased, as the voltage increases at this point, we can see that we are surpassing the blue LED's forward voltage, and that's why blue LED turns on. That's how we can control two LEDs with different colors by using a potentiometer and a voltage divider. The circuit is easy, you can do it also on your own and feel free to ask me any questions regarding the circuit. 
Thanks for watching the video. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks and have a good day.